What's going on YouTube? It's Tommy here again. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about 10 different desk accessories. So these accessories, I use some of them for my work as well as school, because I'm always at my desk most of the time doing a lot of video editing, you know, school work, which is all online. So I find that some of these accessories boost my productivity and enhance my time spent at the desk. So let's go ahead and talk about these 10 accessories. You might find some that you might like or some that might work well for you guys. Go ahead and let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Let's do this. So if you own a Thread XLR or even a USB mic and you want it off your desk for a cleaner look, then you'll probably want a boom arm with a Thread mic holder. The one I've got is from Throne Max and it's called the Zoom Boom Arm. It can be attached to the edge of any part of a desk by clamp-on or onto a grommet hole. You can rotate it a full 360 degrees and there are two rotary knobs at each pivot points on it for flexible angle adjustment. It also has the common scissor arm design which makes it easy to store away. It uses clip-on cable holders to keep the single cable coming from the mic tidy and virtually out of sight. I've got my Shure SM7B dynamic mic mounted onto it and that weighs about 1.7 pounds. It holds it up easily and looks great while doing that. Unlike most scissor style mic arms, this one has got a modern look and feel to it. I've had it for a few months now and never had any issues with it at all. All right, so on to the next one. If you own the insanely expensive Apple AirPods Pro Max, then you'll definitely want headphone stands that, you know, actually complement it. The Grand Pro from Banks is a super sleek stand that also doubles as a 15 watt fast charger for any device that supports wireless charging. So you pretty much get to display your AirPods Pro Max beautifully on your desk and charge one of your devices at the same time. This will certainly free up space that another separate charging device would have required, leaving you with more desk space. The charging base isn't the most responsive, so you'd have to make sure that you're placing your device on there properly for it to charge. The stands aren't restricted for use with the AirPods Pro Max only, but they've been designed to pair with them very well. It's got this curved canopy made from soft silicone that matched the Pro Max at an exact one-to-one -one ratio. The charging base is powered by USB-C to USB-C, so you'll need a power adapter to go with it, as that's not provided. Considering this is targeted towards Apple AirPods Pro Max owners, you'd think they charge a premium for it, but they're actually inexpensive at $77.99 Canadian dollars and $59.99 US dollars. The Anchor Power Wave is a magnetic two-in-one wireless charging stand that has been designed exclusively for iPhones. It's got MagSafe compatibility, which allows iPhone models with MagSafe to snap on and charge. The magnetic surface is very effective and my iPhone 13 Pro Max snaps on securely every single time. On the top side, it provides 7.5 watts of charging, which isn't as fast as charging using the wired fast charger, but you know, it gets the job done fast enough. The base provides five watt of power, so I wouldn't suggest using it to charge your phone, but it's been designed to charge AirBuds like, you know, the AirPods or the Galaxy Buds. You can mount your iPhone vertically or horizontally on the top base, and it can be adjusted between 40 degrees to provide different viewing angles. If you're going to charge with a phone case on, make sure it's MagSafe compatible or it just might not work. It works great with my MagSafe compatible phone case from dbrand. There are also two LED indicator lights to let you know what's happening when devices are charging. The one thing I wish they would have provided with this is an AC power adapter, which you would need to power the device. But I noticed this, you know, with a lot of devices like it. One more cool thing about it is that it's got a very small footprint and I'm sure it'll look great on any desk at all. Okay, onto the next one. If you use webcams a lot, you might be interested in hearing about this. The Lumina AI webcam is a 4K ultra wide webcam with more features than standard webcams that come in most laptops. The 4K quality only goes up to 30 frames per second, which is a bummer, and it comes with dual noise canceling mics that, you know, work very well enough. I compare the video quality between my 2021 MacBook Pros and Lumina's AI webcam, and the Lumina webcam actually came out on top. Lumina's webcam also has two modes that you can pick from. Raw mode provides video without the AI functionality, and plus mode provides video with AI functionality. The AI software also enables adjustable AI cameraman, which keeps the subject in the video frame at all times. It also enables adjustable AI bokeh, which automatically adjusts the depth of field for more or less background blur. Finally, the AI can do active color calibration to adjust color temperature for the best skin tones and overall color accuracy. Active color calibration seems to still be in development, but a color card is usually provided with every order for this purpose, you know, for when they actually update it. Without AI functionality, there are lots of settings that can be manually adjusted to help achieve any look you're, you know, going for. Lumina also provides a free onboarding call for fine-tuning settings on your webcam when you first purchase it. 
The webcam has a magnetic snap-on privacy cover for preventing unwanted illegal use of the camera. It also comes in different colors which should fit most aesthetics. I personally use it with my MacBook Pro but it can be used with Windows PCs as well. A real bummer with this webcam is that it can be connected for use directly with a monitor. You'd have to connect it via USB directly to a laptop or PC using one of either the USB-C or the USB 2.0 cables. Overall, it's not the best quality I've seen for video in a webcam but it's still very good and the AI features help it in standing out. Now unless you're a gamer, I'd say Bluetooth keyboards are the only kind you want for any other kind of work. They've also gotten so much better over time. The Keychron K2 is a 10 keyless mechanical keyboard with a lot of great features. It can be used with Bluetooth or as a wired keyboard. The keyboard comes with a Mac OS keyboard layout, but they also provide you with keys that can be swapped out to more align with Windows OS keyboard layouts. It's also compatible with Android devices as well. It can be paired with three devices and switching between each one is quick and easy. I use it a lot with my MacBook Pro and my iPhone at the same time, and I use it in wired mode with my Windows PC for gaming. You can get the K2 in different configurations. I got mine with RGB backlighting, a plastic frame, and the switch type is hot swappable, meaning I can easily replace the switches without soldering. There are three switches to pick from and they all provide a different sound and feel. There's red, blue, and brown, and I chose to go with brown switches for my specific K2. I also think that the black and white colorway looks cool and would pretty much blend into any desk setup without upsetting the aesthetic. I also love how compact it is. Makes it great for bringing around. You can also get it with an optional wooden palm rest for an additional fee. The Logitech MX Master 3 is up next. This one is insanely popular and I'm sure lots of you have probably come across it at some point. This is and remains the most ergonomic mouse I've ever used. It was designed to fit the shape of the human hand. It might not work great for you if you're left-handed or if you have very small hands. It can be connected via Bluetooth or by using the provided USB dongle. There's a switch underneath the mouse that allows you to toggle between both methods of connection. There's also a small button underneath that allows you to quickly switch between three paired Bluetooth devices. I've also found that tracking is great across various surfaces. You don't necessarily need a mouse pad to use it effectively. Charging is done through a USB-C cable and the battery life is amazing. I barely have to charge this thing for days on end. It's got this super cool thumb scroll wheel which comes in very handy for scrolling through the timeline when I'm editing. The max speed scroll wheel is another cool part of the MX Master 3. It's so silent and allows you to scroll through documents or anything at all very quickly. There are two modes for using the scroll wheel. One is free spin and the other is ratchet. To toggle between both, there's a button just below the wheel. It's got a total of seven buttons which are customizable. In fact, the entire mouse can be customized to different app-specific functions using the Logitech software. For example, I can customize buttons to perform different functions while using Final Cut Pro and another set of different instructions while using Adobe Photoshop. It's honestly a great mouse that enhances productivity. So you might be all about minimalism and don't care much for using an external monitor with your laptop or maybe you just like having your laptop on a stand when it's connected to your monitor for a dual screen setup. Either way, you'll probably want a stand for your laptop. Nulaxis laptop stand is an affordable stand that can satisfy that need. It'll set you back around 35 to 45 Canadian dollars. It comes in silver or gray, but the gray isn't actually space gray. It feels more like greenish gray. It can hold up to 11 pounds of weight in between 10 to 16 inch laptops. It easily holds up my 16 inch 2021 MacBook Pro without me typing directly on it. It might be more sturdy in some angles than it is in others, so be aware of that. The stand is super ergonomic and can be easily adjusted to fit different viewing angles. It's got silicone on the top plate to prevent the laptop from moving around and on the bottom to prevent the entire system from slipping. It also has openings on the top for heat dissipation and proper ventilation. It only weighs about two pounds and the foldability makes it perfect and portable enough to bring around. So you might not know this, but most monitors tend to have well below average inbuilt speakers. I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of them do. So it's important to find the right external speakers to complement your monitor. The Audio Engine A2 Plus are small and minimal desktop speakers with amazing sound quality. They're best used on a desktop and in smaller spaces. They can be used as standalone speakers with your phone or computer by connecting via Bluetooth. It can also be connected to computers through USB. This is how I've decided to use it. They usually come in pairs. The left speaker is the active side which is powered and houses all the connection points. The right side or the right speaker is the passive side and has to be powered by hooking it up to the left side 
using the 6.5 foot speaker wire. Honestly, I wish the wire was a bit longer because I can see it and it's hard to cable manage. I'm pretty sure you can go ahead and buy your own speaker wires to replace them. There's a mini jack audio cable provided for more wire connectivity options as well. The stereo sound coming from both speakers as a pair is always clear and full, which works great for listening to vocals. For me, it's especially useful when video editing. The bass sounds great for speakers of that size, but if that's not enough for you, then you can go ahead and buy an optional subwoofer. The speakers are pretty much plug and play with literally zero setup required. There's a single knob on the back of the left speaker for adjusting the volume manually. I usually just keep mine at the maximum volume and then adjust the volume from any device I've got connected to it. You might also need stands to help direct the audio upwards if they don't sound as good sitting flat. And trust me, they don't sound as good sitting down flat. Stands aren't pricey, but I wish they would have provided a set with the speakers considering their price. Okay, so there's a lot of ways that you can light up your desk, but using a monitor light will save you a lot of desk space as well. The screen bar halo from BenQ is an LED light with a single USB cable for power and a wireless control knob for adjusting various parameters of the light. If you want a light without sacrificing minimalism, then this is one you'd want to consider. It comes with an additional accessory to adjust the clip if you plan on using it with curved monitors between 1000 and 1800R. The light temperature and brightness can be easily adjusted by twisting the knob after selecting which parameter to adjust. There's also an automatic mode which senses the surrounding light to provide you with the best lighting in every scenario. It's also got an LED backlight for creating contrast between the monitor and the wall behind, assuming your desk is positioned in front of a wall. Both the front and backlight can both be used in standalone mode or at the same time. One thing I don't like about this though is I can't control each light individually so they'll always run at the same temperature and brightness at all times. For me, that makes me only want to use the front light, so that's kind of what I just use. The knob uses replaceable batteries and goes into sleep mode after about two seconds to save battery life. To activate the knob again, all you have to do is hold your palm over top it for about another two seconds. If you find that the screen bar halo is too expensive for your taste, a great alternative is this generic clamp-on desk lamp. This specific one is very affordable and still saves you a lot of desk space with its clamp-on design. It's also got lots of pivot points for adjusting the angle of the light and its coverage area. It's got three color temperatures that you can choose from and the brightness can be adjusted between a minimum of around 10% and a maximum of 100%. So it's all stepless, by the way. It's powered through a single AC power adapter. It honestly would have been nice if they included a remote control with it, but I wasn't expecting much, you know, for the price that it's going for. At the end of the day though, you'd want accessories that boost your productivity or enhance your time spent at your desk. And for me, a lot of these do just that. I've provided links to check prices for everything I've talked about down in the description below. Let me know down in the comment section of any other cool desk accessories that you've come across. If you enjoy the video, drop a like below and go ahead and subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. Thank you for watching. It's Tommy with Midas Tech and I'm out.